Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equation. So now I will show you how to answer. So I will put this one go to the left. And the S we put on the right. So that means we will have like this. Now, I will put this one go to the left. So we have the negative side in here. So we put the negative going here and here because I want to change the side of this one. Next, I will put about B equals to this one and Q equals to this one. So we have dy. That means we need to do about first the derivative of b with respect to s. So we do first the derivative of this one. And we know that first the derivative of s to the power of 3, you got about 3s squared. First the derivative of s squared, you got about 2s, number 2 with number 2, you got about 4. First, the derivative of negative number 1, you got about 0. So we keep this one going here. Now, we have the S, so we need to do first the derivative of Q with respect to Y. So we just have only this one in here. Because this one we don't have Y, so first the derivative of this one you got about 0. Now, first, the derivative of y to the power of 3, you got about 3y squared. Multiply by s with 3s plus 4. So, I will put s go in here. And you got about 3s squared plus 4s. We see that this one is not equal to this one. So in this situation, I need to transform into exact. Now, if we look carefully about this one, we have y square, y square, and if we look on the b, we have y square in here. So in this situation, I will put about integrating factor. So I will select about mu s because if I choose about mu s, I can create about this one in here with this one in here. So later that we simplify by y square, y square, and y square in here. Then we simplify by this one with this one because we should have only s, s, and s. That's why you got about mu s in here. So, with integrating factor, we need to multiply by mu s in here and here. Now, we want to create about db over ds equals to dq over dy. Now, b in this situation, that's a about s to the power of 3 plus 2s square minus 1 y square mu s. Now, we can apply about the product rule of the derivative. So, we need to do first the derivative, this one. You got about this one in here. With mu s. Later that, we do first the derivative of mu s, so we keep this one in here. But I will put the side of the derivative in here. 
next dq over dy so q that's about this one if we do first the derivative of dq over dy we just have this one in here multiplied by mu s so you got about 3y square multiplied by 3s square plus 4s multiplied by mu s because this one just contain about s that's why we cannot do first the derivative of this one in here that's this is reason why we need to keep about mu s on db or dq over dy So, this one, I will put on the right. So, you have the negative in here. So, 3y square multiplied by 3x square plus 4x minus 3x square plus 4x y square. You got about number 2 in here. Now, We divide both sides by mu s and s to the power of 3 plus 2 s square minus 1. Now we have y square, y square, we simplify for the both sides. Now, we need to put the integration for the both sides. Now, I will concentrate about this one only. So, we can use about integration by substitution. So, I will put about u equals to this one so if I do first the derivative for the both side first the derivative of s to the power of 3 you got about 3s square first the derivative of s square you got about 2s number 2 number 2 you got about 4s ds this one we change by u 3s square plus 4s ds we change by du the integration of the u over u you got about 2 ln of the absolute value of u and we put about c about u that is about this one and then we put about c so we go back in here the integration of this one you got about ln of the absolute value of mu s so the integration of this one that is about this one and then I will put number 2 go inside about natural law in here So, because we have same ln, ln, so that means mu s equals to this one. After we find about integrating factor, we return back to this one. So, I will put mu s into this one. Now, if we look carefully about dy, we see that this one is similar for this one, but different about the power. So, we simplify this about number 3. And now, we go to check about the exactness in here. So, I will put b equals to this one and q equals to this one. 
So we have dy, so we do first the derivative of dp with respect to d, uh, with respect to s. So if we do first the derivative of this one, you got about number three in here. First the derivative of s to the power of three, you got about three s square plus. First, the derivative of s where you got about number 2. Number 2 with number 2, you got about 4s. And then you got about s to the power of 3 plus 2s square minus 1 to the power of 2. Now, we do about dq over dy. So, because we just have only y to the power of 3 in here. First, the derivative of y to the power of 3 you got about 3y square and we have 3s plus 4 multiplied by s you got about 3s square plus 4s and we multiply by this one and we see that this one is equal to this one so we can say this is about exact and now I need to set up about the function f s y f s y so I will choose about this one plus 3 s y so we just have only y square in here the integration of y square you got about y to the power of 3 over 3 multiply by s to the power of 3 plus 2 s square minus 1 to the power of 3 now because we do about dy so we need to do first the derivative of the function with respect to s so we have d over d s f s y so we need to do first the derivative of this one with respect to s. So you got about 3, 3 s square plus 4 s. And we have s to the power of 3 plus 2 s square minus 1 to the power of 2. Number 3, number 3, we simplify. And you got about y to the power of 3. And we know that we have d over ds of 3sy because we do first the derivative for the both sides in here. Now we know that this one is equal to this one in here. Now if we look carefully this one multiplied by this one and this one and we see that this one in here is similar for this one on the left so we simplify for the both sides and you got like this now we need to do about the interaction for the both sides So, I will concentrate about this interaction only. So, we need to expand this one in here. We will get like this. Now, we need to use about interaction bypass. So, I will put about u equals to lns. Later that we do first the derivative for the both side. You got about the u equals to d s over s d v. That is about this one. So the integration of this one, we have the integration of number one. You got about s. So because that's it. 
that's it too long so I will write in here the integration of number one you got about s about s you got about s square over two s to the power of three over three number four over four number five over five and number six over six seven over seven and number eight over eight so after we got about this one we can apply the formula in here because we have the negative so we keep about the negative side in here so we have u multiplied by v minus the u multiplied by v so we will we have this one divided by s for this one in here so we have the interaction so s divided by s you got about one now we need to reduce the power in here this is about s this is about number two this is about number three number four number five number six and number seven and we put about the S now the interaction of this one we have S plus S square over number two with because we have another number two you got about four similar for the next one you got about number nine in here the next one sixteen similar for the next one And here is about the answer in here. That means this interaction equals to this one. And now we return back to this one in here. So we know that the interaction of GSY in here you got about 3SY so I will put this one to change about 3SY in here and uh, we know that everything equal to FSY FSY equal to C so if we simplify we got about C in here and this is the final answer we need to write this is the end. Thank you for watching.